Hello, it's Jennifer again for your weekly intuitive crystal reading by video. And today is Friday, September 20th. And forgive the camera if it gets a little shaky. I have lost my <laughs> tripod for the moment. I know it's around somewhere, but I can't find it. Um, anyways, so as you can see, I am going to draw crystals and stones today for our reading. The weekly readings that I do are just about an energy for us to, to keep in mind for the weekend and going into next week, some intentions to consider or some other guidance that we might need. So as you may have heard in other videos, I am closing my eyes as I draw a few crystals and stones and we will see where we go from there. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so obsidian is a beautiful black stone, volcanic stone. And actually I have to look closer to make sure, yeah, it is obsidian. <laughs> it looked a little like smoky quartz for a moment. But obsidian is all about, let me show it in the with a white background here. Obsidian is all about grounding and focusing, but it also kind of absorbs any kind of negativity that we might not need anymore, either emotionally, physically, energetically, spiritually. It's a great stone to have if you tend to be empathic and pick up on other people's feelings and emotions. And it can help shield out some of that stuff and shield out uh, EMFs and fluorescent lights and different things. So I take this in the reading to just mean take some time to get grounded, maybe consider where you're putting your energy and what you want to allow into your field over the weekend. Um, it's a big time energetically. Fall equinox is on Sunday, September 22nd. And I know there's just lots of energies coming in right now because of that. So that's just something to keep in mind. Next stone is an ammonite. And this is a beautiful stone. I love these. It's actually a fossil that's millions of years old, obviously a shell. And it's got this beautiful natural translucency on it. And ammonites are all about our ancestors and connecting with our family and generations past for insight and to help us move forward with clarity about things that may have happened in the past so that we can move forward into the future. And because of the translucency on this, the kind of rainbow color, it can be in any regard. It doesn't necessarily have to be just one area of expertise, so to speak. So I take this to mean that it might be a time over the weekend and into next week to just check in with your guidance and your ancestors, the generations past. Is there something that they've done that you need to do differently? Or the opposite, is there something that they had either qualities or things that they did in their lives that you want to embody and bring into your life now? There's certainly messages there for you about that. And then finally, sodalite is a beautiful blue stone. It's all about dreams, meditation, opening your third eye, and kind of doing it in a gentle way. Sodalite really kind of helps clear the cobwebs from dreams or visions that you might have that might be a little overwhelming or scary. So it definitely helps us tap into our intuition. So as far as the reading, I take this to mean to kind of follow your intuition, watch your dreams, and if any visions come to you in meditation over the weekend or into next week, pay attention to those and know that they're not scary, that it's okay to go into that and just explore. So all of these together are 
pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I think it's just a time over the weekend and into next week to really ground yourself, pay attention to where you place your energy, and connect with your ancestors, whether that's through, it might be through your dreams even, and, or um, visions or meditation, and just really take some time for yourself to sink into meditation, pay attention to your dreams. So I hope that helps. And for those of you that actually have listened or watched to the end of this video, starting next week, I would really, really love to take your questions. I'm going to still do an energy reading for the week, but I would love to do a quick one stone or two stone question that you might have about your own life. And it'll be anonymous. I'll use your first name only. So you can send me your questions at jennifer at jennifersolness.com and I will put the link on the YouTube video as well. And you can find more information about your own video reading at jennifersolness.com or purchase your own crystals and stones at crystallinelight.com and I will certainly put the link on the video. So thank you so much. Many, many blessings to you and I will see you again next week. Thanks.